This is what you're going to watch. This is what you're going to see until I get this 220 people back up in here that I left before. This is what I want you to watch. This is what I want you to see. Until I get this 220 people back up in here. I want you to notice this. Get close to it. I'm going to bring it closer if I can. Do I got the 220 people up in here yet? Somebody, I'm so in love with you. Whatever you want to do is all right with me. Let me be the one you come running to. I'll never be untrue. Do I got my 220 yet? Well, I got two minutes and 20 seconds. I wanted y'all to see that. I wanted you to see this too. Nigga never asked me what my purpose in life was. My purpose in life all the time was saving lives. And I saved a lot of people life. Now, let's get down to this industry bullshit. Hey, Danielle, Bigum, I need you in here, Bigum. Listen, Bigum, anybody coming there with that bullshit today, Bigum? I'm not fucking with them, please, brother. Please, I know you want to say hi to pretty gangster. You want to be all on diamond shorty. You know, you want to say all your good stuff to everybody. I will need you to work today. I need you to moderate today. I need you to push some buttons and get some niggas out of here. When they all oh, left it, I got left it. You, you know, I need y'all to get in here and get these niggas out of here with that bullshit. Male, female, anybody could get it, boo. Let them know. We gonna be on some LL shit today. Hey, Danny D, what up with you, mama? Check this shit out, man. I told you these niggas is gonna come for me. And every day somebody is sending me something where the new niggas is coming out, boy, and don't understand, nigga, I've been saying the same shit I said. I was working for Puff in 99, went on MTV. You ain't see my face, but they knew my voice. Saying the same shit that I've been saying about Big or whatever else was going on and I was at. Now, we got these half a homo ass niggas with half a information want to do a half a story about Gene Deal. 
Miss Jones been a member for six months. Thank you, Miss Jones. It just popped up, Mama. I appreciate that. These half a homo ass niggas want to do a half a ass story because they got half ass information about Gene Deal. Because Gene Deal ain't scared to speak up on nothing that he know. If you know, listen to me right now and understand this. Yo, you sound like, nigga, listen here. Your mama was more man than your motherfucking father because if he wasn't, he wouldn't have a bitch ass nigga like you over here talking about you want to help somebody and you want to uh, 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 bring some information and you just got to talk about another motherfucker. Nigga, I don't got to talk about nobody. I choose to. I choose to. And the reason I choose to, the people who see me, the people who've been watching me over the years, know why. They understand why. They understand why. You want to get big on YouTube? Nigga, I want you to get big. I want you to be able to support your family. I want you to be able to uh, bring in another income that you need. Nobody want to, no, I don't want to, if you can make it, make it. But bruh, you're not going to make it on trying to make up something about Gene Deal. Because I know about something and willing to speak about something and willing to talk about something. Nigga, I'm educated enough to do it. Bro, I've been a mandated reporter since 1989. That paperwork showed you I left in 2018. I'm not going to see a woman. I'm not going to see a child. I'm not going to see nobody misused in my face. You motherfuckers out there act like that I know, or let me put it this way. I'm the only puff bodyguard speaking on it, but he had about eight other bodyguards. Only three was under contract. Paul. Wolf and me. The rest of them work for Paul. Paul, Wolf, and me is the only one who was on the contract for Bad Boy. The rest of the motherfuckers work for Paul, Green Gate Security. But I wasn't the only security, but I'm the only one that's speaking about it. And I've been speaking about this shit since, night, since Big died. Well, Christy, do that mean I can't curse if you in my chat, mama? Yo, I'm sitting here, man. Yo, I got, listen here. I was, I wanted to talk about this shit, but I was hungry. So just mind me. I got this shrimp soup, not this, the seafood soup that I made. That I'm going to eat on. Cause I do my best work when I'm eating. Christy, oh, you sound nasty. FLA. Yeah, but no, no, no. Yeah, FLA. These, these, these niggas. <laughs> first, Gene Deal was some broke ass bodyguard. Of uh, I'm mad because I don't get the check no more. Nigga, I've been getting the check, and I still get a check from the state of New York, and will get one for the rest of my motherfucking life. Do you understand that? I got a pension, nigga. 
Stop making yourself look stupid. I stopped for, I walked out of bad boy in 2004. 2004, 2005, we close to each other. I walked out of there. I decided I wasn't going to fuck with him no more. And then he said, because I told Ms. Wallace the shit that I told her, oh, he was trying to get at me. I guess his man, Wayne Barrows, and all them niggas got that to him. You got to watch who you tell your story to, man. Because these niggas are straight half of homos will get out here with half a story uh, 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 and, and, and don't know what the fuck they talking about. Nigga, anybody that's on this channel, and I don't want to go back and reiterate any of this bullshit that we've already talked about, y'all. Listen to me, y'all. Y'all know what that nigga did to D. Furry. I'm going to say amongst brothers, amongst people that we fuck around with, a shit that D. Fergan we did for him for the same game, that shit is unconstitutional. You just don't do that to your worst motherfucking enemy. The shit he did to Wolf, the shit that he did to Wolf mother and bragged about it. You understand that? Yeah, nigga, I took a fight. I didn't have to take this fight. But the shit that he did to people, I got tired of this shit, man. When I was around Puff, Puff no better. Puff knew motherfucking better. Nigga, I was the big dog. Ask Mike Cop. Ask them niggas in the same game. Ask them niggas in Slick in the Family. I made sure everybody was all right. There's no way he was going to put his hands on a kid around me. There was no way he was going to put it because I found out and I know about it at a later date, nigga, and speak on it. Fuck you and feed you beans. Know your business, man. Know your business. You say you want to bring content to brother. I read your shit. And you want to uplift, you want to do all this shit, nigga. You can't do it with false information. Nigga, I don't have anything to do with their contracts and what they do. I'm contracted to bodyguard him. I have nothing to do with the contracts he makes with other people. Even when I told niggas shit, they still didn't fucking listen. Stupid. Don't you know I told the greatest rapper of all time not to go to this motherfucking party and he didn't fucking listen and he lost his life that night? Let me get back to eating. Cause I do my work. No, nah, Christio, you said I was nasty. Danny, I make some soup. I make some shit out of some soup, Danny, from scratch. I make the shit out of some soup and some cornbread. Lord have mercy. I have nothing to stop. Listen to me, brother. No, you want to get your YouTube 
show popping and doing this shit like that. And M Rec and all the doggy diamonds, all these guys will tell me, yo, Gene, don't answer these guys. Don't mention their name because they just want to get their shows on and popping. I want them to have their shows on and popping because if YouTube is giving a nigga a check to watch it, I want them to watch their shows and everything so these niggas can stop being broke and get some money in their motherfucking pocket. Then they'll stop doing robberies. They can take care of their kids. They can help their kids go through college. They can be men and raise young boys to be good men. So if it's on the strip that they got to use Gene Deal name to get there, Dog team, your team. I gotta talk to you about something, uh, but I'm on doing a live right now. Can I hit you back? All right, Ruru. That was Bill Whitfield. He used to bodyguard Michael Jackson. He used to bodyguard Don King, Don King's son, Miss Wallace. Good brother. I want them niggas to use my name. These niggas didn't use my name. I sold five books this week. <laughs> you heard? These niggas used my name and I sold five big books this week. I got to do this right now. Sorry about this, y'all. But these niggas is out here putting a lot on my name. Like, all I did was direct, you know, and I tell y'all this all the time, and everybody can agree with me. G let me ask you something. If you got a girl, ladies, ladies, ladies only. Now, men, don't be talking about why I can't ask you nothing, but ladies only. If you got a girlfriend that fuck with a girlfriend, that you don't fuck with, is she your girlfriend? I'm listening. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. If you got a girlfriend that fucks with a girlfriend, Is she your girlfriend? Help me, ladies. Do you still fuck with her like that? Yo, big I got somebody that was a new member. Can y'all go back and uh, post this this guy name up for me, please? I need that posted. Let luck lefty. Can you post that for me? It's a guy that became a new member. If you see it, can you post it for me? Yo, Misha and Puff say Justin is their biological child. I have nothing to say about I don't know. I don't know why he looked like Wolf. Yo. When niggas make no sir, look look at the ladies. No sir, Rita. No sir. Look at Beverly Clayton. Nah. -uh. FLA, that was his name, Lucky. 
what was his name? Those are the two people. All right. Just gonna call him Fly. Fly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mr. Will, I understand that. But what happens is, is that if you let these lies go out and people don't see me or it continues to grow and I don't address it, then in some people's minds, it becomes the truth. You feel me? Some people becomes the truth. And I'm not going to let that shit go. Yo, listen to me. God honest the truth. We heard about some shit that happened to a kid. But nobody knew that shit was Usher until Usher album came out. Now, I went over this shit last night. I'm on the motherfucking YouTube for three hours with y'all. Talking about this shit. If his mama, Raymond Usher the fourth, Raymond Usher the third, Raymond Usher the second, Raymond Usher the first, and Raymond Usher don't do a motherfucking thing. The cousin, the first cousin, the second cousin, the kissing cousin, none of them niggas do a that damn thing. What they expect Big Gene to do? It didn't happen around me. It didn't happen on my watch. I think that's what it is right there. No, I got I got it right here. I see it. He was the I'm wrong for mentioning. It. Well, he wrong for taking up for my motherfucking enemy. Yeah, the nigga my enemy now, nigga. I don't give a fuck what you think or what you feel, man. The shit that this nigga done, done behind you, stopping shit, stopping book deals, stopping uh, uh, people from fucking with you on uh, TV deals and all this shit like that. Oh, how's you and Puffy relationship? What relationship? I got to have a relationship with this nigga to do a deal? People will stop fucking with you in this industry based on the fact that they know somebody else ain't fucking with you. Didn't you hear Eric Gotti and them say that they stopped all that shit that was going down with 50 because they ain't fuck with 50? 50 had to go to the West Coast. Fifty Cent was the hottest motherfucking rapper so more than everybody since motherfucking uh, Big, him and DMX. Why the fuck do they embrace Jay-Z more than they do 50? I'm going to eat me some more. Because I'm at work. Nigga, this ain't no TV show. This ain't no podcast. This Uncle Gene at the crib talking to y'all. Motherfuckers don't like it. Motherfuckers don't. Nigga, get off the channel. Do y'all. Ain't you got some other shit to do? Hey, Miss Cat. <laughs> some change on your, your suit. Enjoy. 
Okay, Miss Cat, I will. But before I do that, Lon Graymore, Lon Graymore, Lon Graymore is a member, y'all. Hey, a Lon Graymore, a Lon Graymore, a Lon Graymore is a member, y'all. Chantel, a Chantel Graham, a Chantel Graham is a member, y'all. Oh, fly, 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 fly is a member, y'all. Yeah, Steph. Oh, yeah, Steph. Oh, yes, yeah. Steph is a member, y'all. I go Steph. I go Steph. I say Steph is a member, y'all. Yo, thank y'all for y'all membership. We really appreciate that. Let me see what Steph got to say. Thank you. Thank you. When Usher came up into that room, he was a grown man when I met him. Had an album out and everything. Keep sweat baby mamas in there on the motherfucking couch. She had just got to boofing this nigga puff. Usher ring the doorbell. I come out my room. Go to the doorbell. Go to the door. I say, yo, what up, Usher's out in the room? What's going on? Know who he is. Puff's in the room. Yeah, I'm up, I'm up here to get. I think it was Chanel. Such a, I can't remember her name. Light brown skin, fine motherfucker. You can't get her. I mean, she just got through boof and puff, man. And she woke her up, kissed her in her mouth, walked out the fucking door. Nigga, the enemy of my enemy, the friend of my enemy, I consider my enemy. I don't give a fuck. My purpose, nigga. To help to tell how these goofy clown ass motherfuckers has destroyed, has destroyed a lot of kids, a lot of businesses, a lot of people lives, and they get away with it. Nigga, could I did I did I have the power to stop it? Nigga, I've been talking about this shit since 97. Because you just heard it bits and pieces and parts, and you want to speak on it, you an asshole. Because people in this channel, people on this motherfucking uh, uh, YouTube already know. They can go back and, 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 and show on YouTube, on, on, on VH1, on, on, on MTV, where Big Gene came on and spoke about the nigga who killed Big, spoke about a lot of shit that went down. Because you just not hearing about it, Nigga, don't be stupid. Understand. Because you may not like it, but I know it and he know it. Because now, Stuart Quinn is a member, y'all. A Stuart Quinn. A Stuart Quinn. A Stuart Quinn is a member, y'all. Oh, a Stuart Quinn. A Stuart Quinn. A Stuart Quinn is a member, y'all. Nigga, I have fun with this. My life is great. You understand? Don't get mad. You understand? Because in the words of 50 Cent, they can't stop what God got planned. No. A dude sent me in the store the other day. He was like, hey, I was doing my thing. Bought a scratch off. He said, yo, Big Gene, what's up? I said, what's up, man? And yeah, he's like, nah, man, nah, man, I, I just want to. Bro, I'm just trying to concentrate on this right now. But anyway, no, nah, bro, don't feel no kind of way. He said, I see why they call you Big Gene. It's not my statue, nigga. It's my heart. It's always been my heart. It ain't because I'm six, seven, three hundred pounds, three hundred and fucking thirty pounds. It ain't because of that. It's because of my heart, nigga.
Miss What You Call will tell y'all. She told them the other day, Slick, one of my, my brother, all the respect in Harlem, the Bronx elsewhere, told me, oh, Puff said you ain't got to go, nigga. Don't go. Don't go. The night Big got killed, I said, I can't leave those kids out there like that, bro. I got to do what I can. No matter they stupid. I could have been back in Andre and Harrell house or back at the Beverly Hills Hotel, kicking back, like looking at television, ordering room service on Puff. I could have been doing that. But I call my, I tell my man, yo, bro, I can't leave those kids out like that. My purpose, I saved the wrong motherfucker that night. I did what I was paid to do. I saved the wrong motherfucker that night. I'm back eating. That's why I do my best work. Bro, let me just tell you something. Because you know something to be true and you tell it or you say it don't mean you have a dog in the fight to make the shit happen. You just know and you just know shit to be true because the people who was around or some people told you. You go out, you get a motherfucking check from the government that don't mean that you like your job. You agree with everything that happens that goes on. But are you going to quit your job because you got to feed your kids? Nigga, I have Puff Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays. My days were Saturdays and Sundays. Sometimes I had them on Friday. If I got off early or somebody uh, couldn't make their shift. He had a whole week to do whatever the fuck he wanted to do. But I know when I had him, he had his kids around him. Justin and motherfucking Quincy. Then Christian was, Christian was born. They may not admit it. I'm that nigga that when they was hitting me in the back of the head, I exposed those little niggas' hands until they motherfucking start crying. This the kind of discipline I get, motherfucker. You understand me? I got hit in the back of the head. Which one of y'all hit me in the back of the head? <laughs> Both of them laughing. Turn back around. Pow. Got hit back in the head again. Turn back around. Now, I got hit twice. That means both of you motherfuckers is responsible. I didn't curse at them like that. I said, that means both of y'all responsible. Grab both of their hands and scold their shit. You don't play with grown folks. Nigga, I come from that old school rule. You don't play with grown folks. Kim comes downstairs. What's wrong with y'all? They crying. This the kind of discipline I give, and I don't play, nigga. Kim said, 
Gene, what happened to them? Ask him. Because I want to know too. What happened? He scrolls out here. Gene, you scrolls their hand? I said, you damn right. I said, you tell them not to play with grown folks. They both, one of them hit me in the back of my head and, and I got hit twice. They wouldn't tell me which one done it. I scrolls both of their damn hands. But Gene, tell me, no, I'm not telling you. No. You tell them don't play with grown folks. Most sunshine one one four. What up with you, most sunshine? Charles Wilson, you right. You tell your kids, you teach them not to play with grown folks, Kim. Don't tell me to tell you. No, I'm not telling you. I'm going to get their ass right where they do it at. And Puff gonna tell him, y'all don't play with Gene like that. We'll die for them kids. Ain't nobody gonna come near them. Ain't nobody gonna touch them. Ain't nobody gonna fuck with them with Big Gene around them. Been in so many situations with Puff, he knew I was like that with him too. You can't send no chick. You can't you can't send no woman to infiltrate. You know how many women I used to see bodyguards women and a bodyguard talk <laughs> and not a man get slapped upside his motherfucking head because you want no, nah, you ain't playing them games with Big Gene. I don't give a fuck. Excuse me, lady. I'm sorry. I don't I don't care about you like that. Don't nothing be the ambush. We not playing them games over here. You don't get nothing but good talk about Gene before I came on this internet telling this bullshit on this nigga because this nigga, man, yo, listen to me. I seen him disrespect his own motherfucking mama. Stay out my motherfucking business. What, nigga? Ain't nobody else gonna say nigga. I ain't give. Boy, let me tell you something. You ever talk about your mom? You talk to your mama like that again? I'ma beat the shit out you. But Jean, she in my bitch, nigga. You won't have no business if it wasn't for her. She looking like this. Her panties getting wet because she see a real nigga in that. She see a real man in action on his motherfucking ass. Nigga, you talk to your mama like that again, you go, I'm gonna beat your ass. I got her panties wet now. Ain't none of the other bodies going to say a motherfucking thing. The driver ain't gonna say a motherfucking thing. Nigga, I work, my main job was the lead investigations and the New York State Division of Parole, nigga. You get your motherfucking story right when you come on YouTube talking about Big Gene, nigga. If you want, if you want to get some credit, if you want people to understand who you are, if you want to help brothers. Let him know when a nigga wrong, bury his ass. They should have abortions up to a nigga getting 17 or 25 years old because if that nigga ain't doing shit that's productive in the motherfucking community, send him to war, kill his motherfucking ass because he's going to end up hurting somebody else, kid, or hurting somebody that should be doing something good in this world. That's what I believe in.
I bought his motherfucking ass at 17. This nigga ain't doing shit. He's sitting around playing video games. He's sitting around robbing, killing, stealing, you know, driving cars. A lady just lost her motherfucking life. One of my son's girls just lost her motherfucking life doing everything, taking care of motherfucking kids because this nigga 17 years old. They want to be driving fast through the fucking street of fucking high on, it ain't weed no more, it's drugs. How on this shit that killed this little young girl? Y'all need to wake up on these motherfuckers, man. I just, I, I, I just gotta talk about Gene Deal. Nigga, that's some half a homo shit. I just gotta talk about Gene Deal. I just got to straighten y'all out about Gene Deal. Nigga, you could never straighten a motherfucker out about me. Because if a motherfucker don't like me, I don't give a fuck because they don't eat. What they eat don't make me shit. And because I talk about this motherfucker and I done talked about his misdealers and shit like that, nigga. It ain't got nothing to do with you. But you got to talk about Gene Deal. The next time a motherfucker got to talk about Gene Deal, direct them to this video. Next time a motherfucker Gene Deal needed a dime from Puff, nigga, I turned down this money. I done turned down his good gestures. I could call niggas on the phone right now. Nigga sent five bottles to my fucking table. My man, send that shit back. My man, Jewel, said, fuck that. I'm drinking this shit. <laughs> I said, well, I'm going, I'm going to get another table, brother. And if he sends something over there, I'm going to send it over here to you. Y'all worrying about talking about Diddy gonna put a hit. Nigga, I ain't worrying about none of that bullshit, nigga. I've had three major hits put out on me before. Just had this clown that nigga, oh, you escaped the hit from the lynch mob. You lucky, nigga, I ain't tell the feds. Oh, you escaped the hit from the lynch mob. Nigga, you lucky I ain't tell the feds. You niggas be back in jail. Leave me the fuck alone. Nigga, I got bros that are DEA agent. I got bros that are sick secret service. I got bros that are FBI. I got bros that work for Hyder. I got bros in law enforcement that love me. When I told y'all and any people who follow me, I said one of my bros is family of Jam Master J. And he's big in a law enforcement agency. Alphabet boys. I said, they're going to find their killer. That's his sister's husband. They're going to find their killer. Watch and see. It didn't take nothing but two years. Two or three years.
Demetrius out there in Norfolk, Virginia. Salute. Man. I was going to I, I I gave people the information. I brought it to y'all attention so y'all would know. Cookie Jones on the DMV. What up, Cookie? Sweet likes, holla. Chantel Graham, thank you. And Stuart Quinn, FLA, Steph, and Long Graymore, all y'all new members. Appreciate y'all today. Y'all got to understand. Check this shit out. I'm going to tell y'all something. The shit makes me want to cry. Not out of no motherfucking weakness. Because I'm that nigga. And shit didn't get by and didn't go over that I didn't know about it. Oh, I could have spoke on something and said some shit. I'm going to tell y'all a story. And I'm going to get off this fucking channel because I want y'all to know my motherfucking heart for real. One of the greatest performers, one of the most inspirational, inspirational persons that I know in music lost his life. They not telling y'all the truth about it, but I guess after I tell y'all the truth that it'll be so motherfucking problem and everything like that, and that I had something to do with it. DMX. This will be all over the blogs and shit. But let these niggas tell the motherfucking truth. DMX. He would be here today if that ambulance went straight to the fucking studio. If that ambulance went straight to the fucking studio, DMX might be here today. but they took him home. You figure the rest of it out. This the kind of shit that they do. Nene. girls call daughter too your key is on the mantle it ain't I took it out there I took your key out of your jacket listen I filled up your car.
they're not going to tell y'all the truth. They're not going to tell y'all the truth. But because I know and if I speak on it, if I tell the truth, I say something, I get these half a homo ass niggas with half a information talking a half a fucking story about a real nigga that's going to tell you the whole fucking truth. Fuck them. Y'all listen here, man. I'm sorry for bringing y'all this shit today, man. I'm sorry for having my delivery like this, man. But sometimes I get fed up with these motherfuckers, man. And I want to apologize to the ladies for my French. Parlez-vous français? Oui, oui. People don't want to hear it. People don't want to hear the truth. People don't want to speak on it. Or none of that. And next time, nigga, you speak on a man manhood, check your own. Half a homo ass niggas. Later.